Ever wonder why the board and backlog of company managed projects in Jira software feel like they haven't changed for years? Well, for the most part, they haven't, until now. As well as making the backlog on board more pleasing on the eye, we've also introduced a number of efficiency improvements designed to help you and your team work smarter, not harder. Hello and welcome to the Atlassian Demo Den, a series where we look into what has recently shipped. My name is Owen Ryan, and I'm here to demo some of the recent enhancements to the boring backlog on company managed projects. We're gonna begin the demo in the backlog where issues now have an optimized and responsive layout that make it easier to parse the different types of information on each card. We've placed borders around the grouping of issues, as well as reorganizing and realigning the issue details for improved legibility. Issue details can also be now edited directly on the backlog without having to open the issue view. Simply update an issue summary, assignee, status, parent, priority, and if you're on a Scrum project, estimation field by clicking on the relevant field on the card. We've also added more out of the box filters to help you find issues faster in the backlog. You can now filter by epic, label, issue type or version to search a busy backlog. And these filters will appear once the field is used on an issue. So there's no need to bother your busy admin to set these up for you. You can also now perform bulk changes without having to leave the backlog or open the individual issues. With a few clicks, you can change the priority, assignee, labels, parent, and estimate fields for up to 50 issues at once. You can select multiple issues using the checkboxes or by holding command in Apple or control in Windows while you select each issue. And to choose the bulk actions you'd like to perform, you can click on the right click on the issues or use the more actions menu. And finally, we've reorganized the information in the Epic and version panels to provide a more meaningful overview of your team's progress. You can track the number of issues in each Epic or version, as well as your team's progress for estimated tasks. To open the Epic or version panel, select view settings, then switch on the toggle, or use the keyboard shortcuts E and V to do it faster. Moving over to the board, it's easier to scan an issue's most important details thanks to an improved layout that better utilizes space and groups related details together. We've added more information to the swim lane headers when grouped by story. You can see here we've added the epic that the story belongs to as well as the assignee of the story. And if you've added the labels custom field, we've reformatted how the labels are presented to you to again allow you easily scan all of the issues on your board. While tracking work on the board, you can choose to show or hide an issues epic to simplify your view and keep it tidy. To do this, select view settings and then toggle the epic field under the card details section. We'll look to add more fields to this feature over time. Like on the backlog, we've added more out of the box filters to help you find issues faster on the board. Filter by epic or issue type to search a busy board. And like on the backlog, these filters will appear once the field is used on an issue. And as well as adding new filters, we've also introduced a new way for you to view your existing quick filters. You can view these filters as buttons running horizontally across the screen or you can view them in a dropdown, which can save on vertical screen space. And when dragging a card to another column where you only have one status mapped to each column, you can now place that card exactly where you want in the column. No dropping it and then coming back and moving it to where you want. You can now do this in one go. And where there are multiple statuses assigned to a column, the drop zone now takes up the entire viewport so that it's clear what statuses are available and allows issues to be quickly dragged between columns. And that concludes today's demo. We're excited to see the new board and backlog get into your hands and we hope that you're excited for what comes next. You can leave any feedback in the comments below 
But we also have a community group where we share all the latest product updates. And the link for that's in the description. Thank you for watching.